RVs and tiny homes can be real comfortable in the summertime, but sometimes not so much in the wintertime. Even if you have the heat turned on, <clears throat> the air inside the unit can be really warm, but the floors stay cold. So what we're going to talk to you about this time, what you might want to consider before building your tiny home is some heated floors, electric heated floors. Uh, 120 volt, 12 amp is what this kit is. Um, I bought this kit on eBay for $220. Comes with 360 feet of wire and um, comes with uh, a thermostat. And it also comes with <clears throat> a little unit here that we hook up while we're installing the wire and it'll tell us if there's a dead short or if there's an open circuit and it'll give us an alarm. <clears throat> it also comes with some clips. And what you're supposed to do is just screw or attach or staple this to the floor and then lay your uh, heated wire inside these at approximately three inch spacing is what they want. So here's the wire. <clears throat> and we're gonna do a little bit different uh, installation method. Um, normally uh, you would install the wire on top of the floor and then use thin set to level out the whole floor. And what that's going to do in a motorhome is you're going to end up with a lot of extra weight um, uh, inside this unit if you're putting down thin set. And one thing that you don't want to do in RVs or tiny homes is increase the weight because you probably already have a weight problem as it is. So we're going to try uh, uh, just a different method to do this installation and I think it's probably going to work pretty good. So we're going to take a uh, quarter inch round nose <clears throat> rotor bit and we're going to just gouge out a quarter inch slot on the floor where we can then uh, um, put our heated strip. So what we should end up with is um, a nice level surface where we can put our laminate on afterwards. So um, let's give it a shot. We've got our router bit in place and set up at uh, a quarter inch depth. Um, so we're all ready to cut some grooves in this floor. Uh, all the lines are marked out in just pen and uh, even just allowing some for inside the inside on the floor in the toilet area <clears throat> and then even a little bit heavier in front of where you exit the shower and then some areas deleted like underneath where the bed's going to be so uh, just draw the pattern down uh, ahead instead of trying to freehand it I think it would be pretty difficult to just start going with with the router um, so better just to draw some lines so that you have an idea because it's all one long run uh, uh, no stops um, it's power we're starting over by the fridge uh, fridge is a good spot to put your thermostat and to get power from uh, fridge cavities on RVs are always quite hollow and it's a good spot um, to put your thermostat and run wires without uh, running into problems also uh, if you need 12 volt you've got 12 volt on the back of the fridge always on an RV fridge and on this unit we've got we've got the main breaker panel there so it's a perfect spot to pick up power to power the heated floor as well so we're gonna go ahead and start to do some routering here on the floor and uh, we'll check out uh, how the heated lines fit And so after some uh, extended effort here, probably a couple hours, two and a half hours maybe, of uh, cutting grooves into the, the floor here, um, you'll notice that uh, uh, the direction I've got the, the grooves running here, and, and the reason for that is, you know, we're gouging out the floor a quarter inch, and anytime you take material out, there's, you're basically, you're going to weaken your floors a little bit. Uh, the stringers are running across this direction for floor supports. So <clears throat> um, I'm going to get uh, uh, less um, sinking in the floor um, 
less noticeable difference um, walking on it, uh, uh, feeling uh, it mushy or whatever if it's if it's running uh, in this direction. And then, you know, I'm taking out a quarter inch, but then the floor thickness of the laminate is uh, eight millimeter. So, you know, we're taking out a quarter, but then we're putting back in eight millimeters of strength there. So, and I'm, you know, I'm 240 pounds, and even after cutting these grooves and walking on this floor, I don't really feel anything as far as you know it being weakened at all um so i'm happy with that because i really wasn't sure um 100 sure uh how that would how that would go because this is my first time <clears throat> trying this out uh so uh now it's all about putting uh the wires in the floor uh i've hooked up the uh a short detector here as we're laying the the wires into the floor and uh it's it's working out really good so far. Um, everything's going in there. I thought I might have to use a little bit of hot melt glue to uh, to hold the wires in place, but that quarter inch bit is uh, is just perfect. It's um, the, the wire uh, fits in there nice and snug and tight, and it's not going anywhere. So now it's just putting it all in. Heated floors are in. Everything's completed now and had the chance to uh, wire everything up and uh, give it a test too. Everything's working. It's just inside the toilet area there. And so wired it up and did like I mentioned before where I just cut a hole in this fridge compartment and it gave me pretty easy access uh, to the circuit panel down below. And I just tied the floor heating into uh, a breaker uh, reserved for a washing machine because there won't be a washing machine in this unit. So that was a good one to use. Um, so just real quick on the wiring on this is uh so you've got number one and two uh, allocated for your load which is your floor heat strip so you tie in those two and then you can see that there's a number three and four is an n and an l so one for your neutral and then one for your wire coming in your power wire coming in so uh, uh there wasn't a wire included for that so we just used a 14-3 uh, cap tire uh, to to run to the panel and then two additional uh we've got number five and six and that's a thermostat so i chose to put the thermostat uh mount the thermostat in the floor um and not too close to the to the heat the heated wires uh you know about three inches away um where we can pick up a, a decent temperature <clears throat> and that was about it um and then unit powers on and you can just set up your temperature or times uh, uh, if you want to set up a program for it to come on at certain times and go off at certain times you can as well or you can just use it just like a regular thermostat where you just set your preset your temperature when you want it to come on and if you don't want it on just shut the off button and that's it now it's just uh uh, laminate floors to go on and going to start on that now and the finished product uh, the floors are in and um, heated underneath uh, we've got our panel installed here everything's working good floors are tested heat's working and just some odds and ends little trim pieces things like that to do here and there but uh, um, and then uh, the job's only partially done I still want to do these stairs and do the upper living room area as well get rid of that carpet and that'll be next time thanks for watching uh, hope that you enjoyed it and uh, I'll probably be doing more uh, RV repairs 
um, little home additions, that type of thing. Um, if you're interested, subscribe and press like. Thanks so much. Bye.